The ultimate symbol of this counterfeit market is the famous Murano glass. Lights, vases, figurines, and jewelry at unbeatable prices. How many of these objects were truly made on the island of Murano, just opposite Venice? Michele Valsecchi has a store specializing in Murano glass, located just steps from the Piazza San Marco. They have showed this one. An official expert, Michele knows the counterfeit market well. Today, nearly 80% of the glass sold in Venice and Murano is not made in Murano. It's imported glass, made in Italy or elsewhere in Europe. It's machine-made, not handmade. That's proof that it doesn't come from Murano. In Venice, eight in ten glass objects are therefore fake Muranos. To get a better look, we do a little shopping with a hidden camera. This shop in the city centre looks like the real thing. We go in and buy this horse marked Murano Glass. Vetro di Murano. Yes, it's made in Murano. It's made in Murano? OK. It's blowing glass. Huh? We mm -hmm. call it Aventurina, this kind of glass with the, the oxide, the metal oxide inside. Mm -hmm. And it's made in the island uh, of the Murano. Island, yes. I go take it. Uh, Okay. If we are to believe this dealer, this 29 euro horse is a genuine Murano. Thanks. So. In this other, much more luxurious shop, we choose this small, very expensive vase. This little vase is 60 euros with a small discount. We only deal in Murano glass. We are intrigued by a name written in gold letters on the vase. What's that there? That's the signature of the master, the man who made the vase. I'm not sure if that master is still working. Do these objects really come from Murano? Here's Michele's verdict. So this piece is very poorly made. The details are crude. Looking at the base, the workmanship is not perfect. Usually the base, underneath, should be perfectly smooth. To demonstrate, Michele compares it to a genuine Murano horse. On this one, for example, you can see that the base is entirely smooth. Murano glass is an artistic glass. All the details are meticulously crafted. The mane, the ears, the mouth. This is the work of a master glass worker with years of experience. And this is not. Next, we look at the vase from the luxury shop. This is classic glass from Tuscany. It's too regular, proof that it was machine-made, especially the rim. You can see that the circle is perfect. By hand, that's impossible. So it doesn't come from Murano, because the glass workers there only work by hand. And then this signature is absolutely meaningless. Is it possible that they invent a signature? Yes, I could write my name. You could write your name. Anyone could write their name. The ultimate in deception, at 60 euros, the fake Murano is more expensive than the real thing. A small vase like this one, a genuine Murano, would cost 30 or 40 euros. This fake vase is really too expensive. There is only one official label guaranteeing the authenticity. This label, indicating the workshop number. Beyond the aggrieved tourists, this counterfeiting is slowly killing the Murano craftsmen. Every week, Michele goes to the island to buy merchandise from the workshops. Imperio Rossi and Mario Constantini 
are two of the island's last remaining glassmakers. Very quickly, performing precise rapid movements, Mario transforms this piece of molten glass into a horse's head. These glassmakers use the same tools and techniques as those of Murano's first glassmakers. Techniques that date from the Middle Ages. It takes decades of practice to master this skill. Mario started at the age of 11. If you're talented, it takes at least 20 years to become a master. But if you don't have the ability, you'll remain an assistant your entire life. What do you think about counterfeiting? Unfortunately, it hurts our image, because people don't distinguish between the Chinese-made objects and ours. But the difference is enormous. The Chinese products are rubbish, and Murano are... This ancestral profession is now endangered because there are not enough young people. If there aren't any more glass workers, mathematically we'll disappear. The job's too exhausting. Today they stay in school until they're 25. In the past, you were already in the workshop at the age of 10 or 12. One quarter of the workshops have closed in the last 15 years. Only 150 remain in Murano.